Tigers had two or three really good opportunities to score early in that first half against South Florida. By the way, South Florida went on to Lafayette and, and lost to, uh, to the Louisiana Ragin' Cajuns. An opportunity here, left foot strike, knocked down by the goalkeeper, Hellbling, oh, Hellbling. It was, it was a pretty cool game to get to see and the fact that it was in the NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. Great ball. There's a chance here, it's rolling and it's off the corner and in. Molly Baker doing her thing. You know, she's got so much speed and she's so precise and confident right there in those 1v1 moments. She knew exactly what to do. Fantastic goal for Molly. Molly Baker had four goals and six assists last year. She scores the first goal of the season. Always, always. I love being around her because she makes me think I should quit my job and become a comedian. Everything we say is funny. Baker took it away. A couple of passes later, LSU trying to set it up. Baker in the middle, goes to the left side. This is Noel Ramey. Puts it on her feet, twisting, spinning away. And that's blocked over the inline. It will be LSU's ball, I believe. And a heat index of 113. Corner kick coming. Booted, blocked away in front of the net. Good chance for LSU again, but a nice response. That was pretty. At point blank range. On a personal best of six 16.9 fluid ounce bottles of water in the first half. You need to be careful with that. There is such a thing as too much water, Lynn. Here we go, Molly Baker. Baker Doing divides the defenders. Goalkeeper comes out. Baker fires. Baker scores for the second time this afternoon in the first half. It was Molly Baker's wisdom. It was Molly Baker's patience. It was Molly Baker's strength. It was Molly Baker's intelligence. And Molly Baker rams it home. Herman Stoddard, of course, came on with a big splash last year. The freshman from Iceland, especially heating up in the second half of the season at seven goals and a couple of assists. Good one-on-one -on -one opportunity by Taylor Dobles. And the shot deflected before it got to the goalie. And that was good ball movement. Very simple but clean ball movement right there by LSU. Coming out of the midfield, working that ball up the field, getting it out wide, and then coming back in. That's their MO. Here comes the corner kick for the Tigers. We've had very few of them between the teams this uh, this afternoon. It's headed. It's headed again. Slapped away by the goalkeeper. Well done by Helbling. The first time, Tigers are prying more pressure. Headed again, and it's wide. Well, that was a lot of action. And the first half has come to a close. It was a shutout first half for the Tiger defense. And Molly Baker erupted for a pair of goals for the Tigers. We'll hang on a minute here as Sean Hudson will join us with a headset from down on the pitch. Her Tigers right now enjoying a 2-0 lead. Sean, welcome. Uh, certainly a turnaround uh, in the first half today for LSU. And Molly Baker put on a show with strength, with versatility, with maneuverability, and intelligence to, to pick up a couple of goals. Yeah, it's great. Uh, two great finishes by Molly just to get us, you know, off to the out of the gates and off and running. We talked about having a more positive start today. And I think we've shown that we can uh, pin Southern Miss in and, and move the ball side to side and, and create some good opportunities. I thought Ava Galligan was great mm -hmm. in the first 20 minutes and caused lots of problems for them down the right side and uh, overall just a much better start to the game tonight. Sean quickly 114 degrees <laughs> right now uh, with the heat index how much is that affecting the players? Yeah you know we actually got a little bit of cloud cover in so I'm thrilled but um, yeah we've got a lot of depth off the bench so you know it's the same for both teams and uh, we'll continue to use legs off the bench and I think uh, you know players off the bench will have to contribute because it is blazing hot down here. All right, it's soccer time as we start the second half. LSU in the white, Southern Mississippi in the dark jerseys and pants. Let's see if the Tigers can come out and try to put things away early here in the final 45 minutes. LSU. 
trying to attack. This is Herman's daughter with the left foot. It's in. That was a great half volley by Herman's daughter on the bounce, being able to, to manage and know and read that ball the right way, getting her body over it and finishing so strong. Beautiful, well done goal by Herman's That's daughter. That's the eighth goal in her young career, her first this year. Ava looking up, getting a good read with her head up, having so much time. Great job. Ramey Noel tried to center it, tried to get it to Baker. It's still alive, but Southern Mississippi defends for the moment. Eva Herman's daughter will put it in play. She'll take the free kick. Both teams jousting for position. Herman's daughter shoots it and gets it. Herman's daughter from distance rams it home on the right side. Herman's daughter with a brace. Baker with a brace. <laughs> we have two braces. Way to go, Herman's daughter. That was fantastic. <laughs> That's really hustling defense. That was really good. By LSU. Good ball movement. Sage Glover wanting to use that speed, get to the end line. Centers it, it's volleyed a couple of times out of bounds. During pre-conference is necessary to try to hone your skills as much as possible, Glover. Pokes it back outside the box. Left-footed center and across. Headed and caught. That was nice, though. Johnson. Pokes it ahead. Great ball. A late swing by LSU. We are counting it down, and LSU is about to get into the win column. Four, three. Two, one. This game is over. The Tigers got a pair of goals in the first half from Molly Baker. They led 2-0 at the break. They got a pair of goals from Eva Herman's daughter in the second half. Led 3-0 at one point, then 3-1 as Southern Mississippi got onto the scoreboard. But Herman's daughter later scored again. A pair of goals for her in the second half, a pair of goals for Baker in the first half, and the Tigers much more efficiently take care of business this afternoon. Yeah, it's always great, obviously, to get a win at home and certainly a great response after the loss on Thursday night. Uh, I think from the first whistle to the last today, we were the best team, and that's been something that we've struggled with a little bit this season is just the consistency. So it was great to put in a 90-minute performance and uh, you know, great to see Molly Baker and, and Ida get off the get off the mark this season with a couple of goals each. So yeah, no, really happy. I think there were some big performances, um, but overall just a much better team performance today.